Now I'm just thinking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh my god, duh. What if it's him we're trying to move? I know how to move him. I know how to move him. Cook something and then he smells it. He has to go near the smell. He has to smell what he's cooking. I'm cooking. Long ago, a small but mighty kingdom existed where there is now barren wilderness. Bugbear and ogre warriors fought brutal wars, amassing fame and considerable fortune. Those who died in these battles were buried in tombs dug into the hillsides, the tallest of which, High Tower, is where we begin our adventure. Tonight, a terrible storm sweeps through the wilderness, driving all creatures to take cover. Seeking shelter, Naivara approaches High Tower. You're at the entrance to the cave that's blocked, okay. and you need to get out of the storm. What do you need to do? Can I cast a spell to open the cave? You can. What kind of spell do you want to try? I'm going to do a shocking grasp. You're going to yeah. try to just like, just shake it. magic. <laughs> yes. You want to roll your d20 to see if you have a successful hit. 15. And that would be a hit. Cool. So now let's see what kind of damage you'll inflict. OK. Three. Three. The rock takes three hit points, okay. which means you just singe it. There's just like a little black spot on it. All right. All right. Well, very well done. Thank you. <laughs> Hearing the magic attack the rock, a high elf hears and comes to investigate. So you guys are still just like standing out in this horrible, horrible storm. Like yeah. it's starting to hail. Yeah. So uh, can we get in this thing? Uh, I tried and it failed. Oh, great. Well, thanks. Can I? Can I use my dexterity to... Punch a hole in the... Well, Let's find out. Let's see well, if you have a successful dexterity check on that. Six. Do you have a bonus so, on your dexterity? Plus three. So six would be nine. So as you were trying to lift the rock, you strained a muscle. Gosh darn it. <laughs> As you were grunting while trying to lift this rock, mm. you alerted a human fighter to your location. Hey, so I was just uh, trying to get into this here cave here and uh, no such luck. Ooh. I tried punching it. That usually works. <laughs> Does it? You'd be surprised. OK. So I have um, a Giant friggin' axe. I see that. It's great. Yeah, right? It's like. It's amazing. It's the best axe. Yeah. So I'm just gonna axe the crap out of this. You should definitely do that. Yeah, okay. Let's see if it's successful by rolling your d20. 13. And do you have any bonus? Plus five. 18. So that's an 18. That's a hit. That is a hit. So let's see how much damage you do actually inflict. I'm gonna roll my d12. Eight plus I have a three bonus. So that's 11. So you swing your axe, and just some chalk kind of clouds up off of it. Ah. It's a really heavy duty rock. Yeah, coughing, it's in your hair. So the clang of your battle axe off the rock alerts another passerby. Where? I can't think. They're so dexterous. There's a little tiny weirdo coming over. I'm very stealthy. I don't know if you guys have heard. You probably haven't because I'm so sneaky. Yeah, where'd you come from? Oh, the ground. What? And outside. Oh. I've been out here with you guys. Oh. It took me a while to catch up. I'm not very physical. I don't like to run, but I did get here. So we should all congratulate me for that. Hooray! Yeah. Okay. No? OK. Um, I'm a rock. Do you want to help this team try to get in? Yeah, we've all been trying to get in. I know that I just met yeah. you guys, but like I feel like I owe my life to you, and I love you, and I would love to do this with you. I'm here to move this cave rock. Great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want to take a turn? Yeah. I'm going to use my dexterity because that's what I am. OK, so what do you want to do? You are going to try to lift the rock out of the way? Oh, no, 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 no. OK. Here's what I want to do. I want to like try to find like a crack. I cracked it a little bit. Is it a little You weaker? did crack it a little bit. I heard that. What are you going to do? <laughs> Work on our crack. <laughs> Roll your d20 to see if you successfully work on her crack. Will you blow on it? 
Oh, that was good. Oh. What's your number? 16. 16, and then do you have a... Oh, honey, you know it. What is it? It's a plus five. <gasps> what? <laughs> That's a successful me? hit. All right, so let's see how much damage you do. Uh, let's take a 1d6 and roll to see how many hit points you're going to give to the rock's crack. Now I'm just thinking about Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh my god, duh. What if it's him we're trying to move? I know how to move him. I know how to move him. Cook something and then he smells it. He has to go near the smell. He has to smell what he's cooking. I'm but cooking. Oh. Well, you didn't roll for cooking, so we'll have to try that next. Okay, cool. Oh. So a one. One point damage to this enormous crack in this enormous <laughs> rock. Sorry. So what are we going to do, guys? Maybe. Yep. Your powers combined will move this rock. Is there a way mm -hmm. that we think that a combination of my giant axe's leverage with all of your magic, yeah. we could use that to like shove it out? Yeah. Well, I for sure want to help too. Yeah, we'll all we'll all We're do all, it, and she can and she can like help us like yeah. I'm strengthen up. Yeah. She can boost our stuff with her wizard. Power. What's your big thing? Like what's your? Uh, you I mean, team? I'm pretty dexterous and wise, so That's good. Um, Ooh, I'm relatively I smart and dexterous. Yeah, Ooh. and I and I oh I I have some weapons, um, so I can use some of my weapons. So we got two short swords. A, Broad axe, a giant. A great yeah, yeah, axe. yeah. It's a, it's a great axe. And then we've got magic to boot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone rolls their twenty. Okay. See what they get. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> uh, I got a seventeen. Uh, I got eighteen. And I got an eight. Sorry. I got thirteen. We have a successful hit. Now, everyone, let's roll the damage for the weapon you were choosing. So you got a six. What did you get? A one. I okay. rolled a ten. And I rolled a six. With all of your forces together. Oh my god. The rock erupts into rubble and pebbles and dust, and it's gone. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. rock. Hashtag teamwork. Um, we uh, did it. That was pretty cool. That, that was amazing. Oh my god. Let's go in here, because it's really we have to, I don't know. Are we in this cave So now? you file into the cave to get shelter from the storm. OK. Yep. OK, great. Oh Push my the god. water off. Y'all, that was exciting AF, it was so but I do have one question. Who are all of you, and uh, oh, what's yeah. your deal, I guess? Um, well, I'm 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 Celise Historio. Hi, hi, don't kneel, it's cool. Um, hi, good to meet you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for like helping with the rock stuff. This is gonna be so dope. Uh, we could continue to do stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? Because you're all so good at doing stuff. That's a really interesting notion. Well, uh, I'm... The uh, Millie Emney. From the Oak and um, Heel right. Millie Emney. <laughs> right. You okay. might know me from the Oak and Heels. <laughs> no connection to the Oak and Folds. They're a, we don't have anything to do with them anymore. I, I am a wood elf of the Emerald Enclave, but I, I had to leave my, my tribe when they were all hideously murdered <sighs> by a horde of orcs. And I've been kind of living by myself ever since, so I haven't really talked to many people in a while. And uh, so, uh, pardon my awkwardness. Uh, yeah, wow, I'm so, that's... That's huge. Of that sounds you. so That rough. was uh, the most I've talked in a uh, very long time. Oh, wow, I'm so, ooh. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, uh, uh, yeah, who are you guys? That's so Hey, rough. enough about wow. me. Well, I am also an elf. I am Nivana C. and Odell. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, are any of you believers in Ogom? Because I am all about Ogom. I've spent my entire life dedicated to the god of knowledge. Oh, are any of you? No? Uh, OK, well, we can still get along. It's fine. And who are you joining the squad? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Hi I'm, um, I'm Kithri Goodbarrel. I come from Humblestock. Listen. It's a whole big thing, but I will just tell you. Tell us. That I came from this like very small little town. We just like our people, we like our potatoes. Mm -hmm. We're super tiny. I'm sure you can tell I'm the smallest person you've ever seen. I'm super tiny. Um, so pretty cute. And so, yeah, pretty adorable. Pretty cute. Oh my yeah. God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so we existed in this town and it was amazing. And we all just loved each other and lived for each other, lived off the land. We had so many good barrels. And then all of a sudden, we start finding like coal, good stuff, mm -hmm. stuff that you can sell. And then these rich people came in, they took over our town, they took all of my stuff. And I'm, but no, 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 you don't feel bad for a halfling. So me and a bunch of my buddies, we were like, we're not having this. So we robbed the rich people, which is fine because it's like a, yeah, yeah they I don't deserve have any it. Qualms with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So now that we're in this uh, cave, 
we this is cool. This is we all know each case. other now. Yeah, yeah. I feel uh, comfortable with you. Yeah. I do feel like we should um, we need to figure out our next move. Yeah, what like, are we, we gonna do now? Is I'm, what I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm like okay. we gotta do something. Solid question. The stone chamber beyond the entrance measures at least ten paces square. Okay. Peeling paint and broken scroll work suggests that it was once decorated with some care, but nice. now only dust remains. Three massive stone doors, one each to the left, right, and directly across from the entrance, and deeper into the door. Oh. Hey y'all, if you like this, then maybe you like other games too. We have our very own gaming channel, Slaytrix, and now Snarled and Slaytrix have partnered with Discord so we can talk directly to y'all. Make sure to check out the link in the description to join the fun, and we will see you there. Suddenly, from a doorway on the far side of the room, step two burly humanoids. Ew. Each stands more than six feet tall and has feral eyes, flat features. With a roar, the two draw their weapons and charge. Oh my god, I'm gonna mess these guys up. I'm gonna mess these guys up. We gotta mess these guys up. 